Y254 Imagine Welcome back to Y254 TV. I hope you're having a lovely evening today. We are coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. And thank you once again for tuning in to Power Talk. I am your host, Cheryl Blessing. This evening, I want us to talk about friendship. We all have friends who we cherish and some friends who we term as acquaintances. I want us to understand who are your true friends? Does true friendship exist? And do you have conflicts between you and your friends? How do you resolve that? And joining me live in studio is Tess Moura, who is an actress and a content creator. Karibu sana, Tess. Thank you so much. You look lovely this evening. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's just how you are. <laughs> Yeah. And right next to Tess, we have Kefa Ochoi, who is a conflict resolution consultant. Welcome, Kefa. Thank you. Thank you. I was just telling my guests how both of you, <laughs> mekujam ki match. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> 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 now this evening, our conversation about friendship is informed by a text that we got from one of you. I don't know if we can bring that up right now, Timo. So we got a text about someone whose friend stole their boyfriend. <laughs> and this is the first conflict that we want to address. We know that these are cases that they come up in friendship mostly with women because this was a lady who sent us the text. Yeah. Now do men experience this as well? So join me while I start this conversation. And I want to hear from you back at home. Tell me on my social media platforms, go to at Y254 on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Niambie, if you've had any conflict with your friends, what conflicts have you had? And do you think true friendship exists? You can also find me on my personal pages, which is at Cheryl Blessing. Now, to start this conversation, let's start with the professional, because you have dealt with a lot of uh, conflict. Yes. Now, in your opinion, do you think true friendship exists? Yes, it, it, uh, it exists. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the foundation when you meet with somebody or now you build the foundation. So if you build the foundation on lies, uh, then it doesn't exist. But if you build a, a foundation on honest communication and uh, you accommodate each other, opinion and everything, it exists. Mm. Yes. I like that you've specified the foundation yes. is the most important. Yes, yes. Now, Tess, yes. I'm sure you have some friends who you cherish. Yeah. <laughs> How did you start your friendships? Like, what was your foundation with, let's say, your best friend or your yeah. closest friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's because we have, or oh, I felt like and I saw that we have the same goal, you know. We have the same interest and stuff like that. There is respect between us. I only have one best friend. She is so respectful. And even when there is a kind of conflict, there is a communication. If, when we disagree, you know, as friends, you have to disagree. So she is one person that is so much on uh, based on communication. She has to communicate, you know, you did this and this and I don't like it. Yeah. That's I like thing. that. Yeah. And the fact that you've said you have <laughs> one best friend. <laughs> yeah, <it's> only one. <laughs> that was specific. <laughs> <laughs> now we all know we have these terms. We have acquaintances, yes. colleagues, whatnot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kefa, yes. who would you define as a friend and who is an acquaintance or a colleague? Uh, a friend is somebody who can uh, actually die for you. Yes, it doesn't mean that it's a relative or uh, what. You can have a very good friend. An honest friend, but who is not even a relative, or a, or a friend, or a colleague, something like that. Mm. So a friend is somebody who is uh, who can accommodate your madness. Let me mm. do the <laughs> madness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who can accommodate your madness and who can actually feel for you 
even in terms of difficult or even in terms of happiness, somebody who can feel for you, somebody who doesn't want a payback once maybe uh, there's something which you have done. Mm -hmm. So that's a true friend. Mm -hmm. Somebody who doesn't talk to you or um, whatever you call like women. So somebody who follow <laughs> you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a true friend. See, uh, we have to differentiate between relatives, friends, and even uh, normal. We, see, we have kind of, uh, several kinds of friends. Eh? So when we talk of true friend, eh, it doesn't mean the rest are enemies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So all of them are friends. But uh, the, the way my colleague has said, uh, that one friend yes. who you can sit with when you are in trouble or when you have even private matters, you can talk to and you release yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. And you've brought very important points in that one statement. Yes. Someone who can die for you. Yes. Friends who become family because you've known each other. That's like your sister, your brother. Exactly. Yeah. And someone who wouldn't spread Moshe exactly. about you. <laughs> very important. Yes. 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 Now, Tess, would yes. you say your best friend is, uh, would you call her your sister? Absolutely. Because... Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually call her my unpaid therapist because she really <laughs> deals with a lot. But she really deals with a lot. And uh, we've known each other for more than four years now. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. And I would say, like, she's a person who is genuine, very genuine. Her intentions are just pure, especially with the job that I am doing, content creation. There are hate comments, there are words, someone body shaming you. She is one crazy person that <laughs> comes to my social media, takes my phone, tells me, no, you don't have to do this, blah, blah, blah. She, she just does some things, you know, even some things that even a sister can't do, let me say that, mm. because she is more than a sister. Yeah, she mm. is family, one person that became a family of which I am so very, very, very grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that sounds beautiful, the it way you just described is. that. Because she really has your back. Exactly. And they're taking, if we're being honest, yes. our friends hear the most unhinged things about us. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. something that your boss would never know. You tell your friend and they're like, girl, yeah. okay, it's okay, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> and the way you, you said that you've known her for four years. Yeah. Kefa, would mm. you say it's easier to make long-term friends as a child or as an adult? Because she just recently met, met her yeah, friend. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So uh, uh, when you talk about long-term, I don't know what, what you mean. Is uh, Maybe I can summarize in that way. Uh, friends doesn't matter how distant you are. Mm. Yes, provided somebody has actually put you in his heart or her heart, eh? it doesn't matter the distance the most important thing is communication yeah. honest communication and the commitment yeah it's like the relations for a boy and a girl the moment you decide to commit that this was this will be my husband or my boyfriend eh, you commit with honest communication with respect the same case to friends whether it's a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend so distant eh, is not uh, some but of course uh, again you make a commitment also to meet even once in a while. True. Yes. Uh, like now, for example, if you have a, if it says a friend in America, they have committed for almost five years, eh? and they are good. So once in a while, maybe you can uh, travel from uh, America or uh, just can travel to America just yeah. to have a cup of coffee. You see, even, even, even when you have a cup of coffee, it strengthens you, it bonds you. That's you true. Get. So distance, eh? Uh, yes, at some extent, it has some. Uh, it can bring conflict eh, in terms of misunderstanding. Maybe in terms of text, like now, for example, I I don't like texting. Uh, maybe you are texting me. I'm texting yeah. you. Maybe you are text. I can misunderstand. True. The way I was writing is not the way you can interpret, and you it interpret brings a conflict. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that can also bring. A uh, conflict or a misunderstanding between long distance friendship. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's one that ri rise under communication. Yes. Yes. I like that you've even gone ahead because later on mm. we have to talk about 
prioritizing your friendship and okay. making time for your friends. Okay. Now you've brought in communication and Tess you also mentioned your best friend is big on communication. Yes. So yes. you're clear yes. and you know exactly what's going on. If there's a conflict you know what is going on. Yes. Have you experienced miscommunication with some other people that made you realize I don't want this person as a friend and what was that experience? Um, now uh, initially we were three before we remained two and there was this she was actually my closest friend compared to my best friend right now and um, it would reach a point where there is a conflict or a kind of small misunderstanding and then she goes silent you know if you go silent I'll go silent as well because uh, recently it's when I'm learning on communicating like if you do something or if I'm not comfortable with what you do I tell you but then I was not talking so she went silent and we went silent and that's how it died you know yeah and uh, it happened a number of times because she used to go silent and then uh, this other friend comes in between now that's when we talk but me and her we were not even having any conversation and I felt like hmm this is not what I really need in this because I'm not a person who is very good at communicating, of which I'm learning. <laughs> so if you don't, now the <laughs> friendship is over. How are we going to survive? How are we going to survive? <laughs> I need the person who's <laughs> going to support me in one yeah. way or another. Yeah. So that's how it ended. And mm. uh, then I learned the importance of communication for friendship. It's for as very friends, important. it's very important. Fundant, Even yeah. as we say in relationship, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that you said that because <laughs> yesterday I met a friend of mine. I've yeah. known this friend for so many years. Yeah. And I was just saying, thank God for my friends because yeah. they're good at communication. Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of person who I'll think about texting you mm. and then I forget. Yes. So yes. Tuesday next week, no, no, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't text. Yeah. So it, when you have a friend, the way you've described, your best friend was yes. good at coming in and yes. being the mediator, and mm -hmm. she was good at communicating. Mm. So probably there was miscommunication, yeah. and this other friend was also introverted. She didn't know how to express herself. Mm -hmm. Now, Kefa, would you think, do you think it's very important for you to understand the history of your friend, maybe with the family background and their character, because mm. it can help you know how they react in certain situations? Uh, there's some few things you need to understand about somebody before you become friends, but not to dig inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because sometimes, but not all times, eh, the family background cannot actually portray that this person has the characters or uh, the personality of the entire family. Yet, yeah. if, if you come from a family of uh, pastors, does, it doesn't mean that you will be <laughs> a Automatically. Yeah, you no, get it. Yes. So when you meet, like now, when we meet in the, in the city like Nairobi, uh, and we become friends, just normal friends, mm -hmm. what do I have to dig your With family background? You get it. Yeah. Yeah. Provided I see that you are a person who has the same physical like mine, and we can actually help each other, mm -hmm. and you are open, honest, and everything. Eh? That's enough for me. Uh, the other family background, where maybe you are a witchcraft, you are a... <laughs> that's not that's your uh, own. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I feel like that's where <laughs> disclosure comes in. Yes. Where disclosure is where you feel like I can open up about certain exactly, things yeah. and keep certain things exactly, aside. Because yeah. there are people who you'll feel comfortable mm. sharing yes. with some information and some you're like, I need to know you for a few more months, yes. then I can know if you'd yes. process it well. Yes, yeah. actually the most important, uh, for example, if I want to be your friend, uh, you see, you can't be friend to everybody. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you have to identify what do you want in this person. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want uh, to develop together? Does he have the same or he has the same vision with you? You see, somebody who can motivate you. Someone who can challenge you in terms of even development, education wise, yes. something like that. Yes. That's what we call a true friend to me. Yeah. Somebody who can make you to move from step one to step two. Mm. Yes. Because growth is something exactly, that we yeah. all have to yes. undergo. You can't be with a friend who you are he does not like pursue anything. Yeah. You are, he, yes, they are. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing yeah. more that yeah. you're bringing yeah. to the table. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm. Now, Tess, when did you, in your in your journey with your best friend, mm -hmm. at what point did you really realize, 
oh my god, this is like my sister. This is <laughs> my closest friend. The moment I started, uh, I don't like calling it famous, but or celebrity, <laughs> but the moment I started appearing on the screens but a lot. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the moment I started appearing on the screens more, you know, mm. that's when I knew, because trust me, it's more harder than you can ever imagine, you know. The comments, the hateful, whatever people hate, just wake up and wanna more. It's you today. Are they yes, going there? they comment yes. whatever they mm. they feel, you know. And that's when I knew she, she, she is really more than a sister because she took. There was a time actually she took my phone for two days and mm. we went out like just away from Nairobi, like away. Go to Lendo, go to go. <laughs> Though you forget about it and she was talking to me and telling me she's not a person who is an online person. Then mm. she was like, you don't have to listen to these people. Mm. If mm. someone comments a hateful comment about, uh, about you, they like someone, something that you have. That True. is what she told me. And mm. since then, I can just <laughs> comment. I know, just comment. I got somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that because yeah. she's your personal yes. cheerleader. Yes. She's like, yes. mm -mm, mm. don't look at what they're mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as before we just get deeper, you mm -hmm. talked about personal growth because yes. we all grow individually. Yes. Mm -hmm. In your journey, test, you've grown. Kefa, exactly. you have grown professionally, spiritually. Exactly. So, do you feel like when you're growing at this at a different rate with your friend maybe you got a job mm -hmm. and they're still not employed or they're mm -hmm. still trying to hustle do you feel like that can cause a strain in friendship uh, i don't think so because it depends on somebody's decision you see like me i can give you an example i have categories of friends i know what i want in somebody was who is a friend to me mm -hmm. and i have a friend who are older than me who i call my mentors mm. you get yeah and i have some some people who are young who are my friend i mentor mm -hmm. so depending on which class you want to be uh, it doesn't matter whether you are uh, you are you are relating with educated people mm -hmm. uneducated yes. all of them are friends but what we were uh, i was looking at that one best friend mm. yes uh, that one you, which, who, who you can sit with and tell him more no, even private matters you get yes it? and just open uh, up yeah, and exactly, be yourself yeah, yeah even when you have stress something like maybe you are stressed with a boyfriend or a girlfriend you mm -hmm. can talk to yes yeah, <laughs> without easy. feeling like without feeling judge like, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but the rest eh, you uh, you have uh, uh, you have your personal decision mm -hmm. who you want to be friend and uh, for what purpose? Mm. Yes. Now, would you say friends have different the way you've described it? You yes. have different people. Yes. Maybe someone who's at work for yes. for the professional aspect. Mm. Yes. Then for your social life. Yes. So, would you say friends are also seasonal? Uh, a seasonal friend is not a friend. Mm. Yes. Nice. <laughs> <It's not laughs> I love that response. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Uh, it's just somebody who was passing, passing. by. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. So that's more of an acquaintance. Exactly. We yeah. knew each other. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But a friend is somebody you have been with and you want to be with until death. Oh. Yes, yes. Now, what about friends that you've known? Because you've gone through different stages. You've been a child, mm. teenager, high mm. school, university. Mm. Do those friendships still count? No, they or? don't exist right now. Mm. I can tell you for free. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> like now for example, when you were in a primary, mm. uh, we transited to secondary. Mm -hmm. You realize that uh, from my area, maybe in a rural area, you realize those uh, maybe more special ladies, eh? You mm. see, they do. They get married. Yes. Yeah. True. Even if you yeah. go after ten years, the people you can find is the boys, eh? You yes. can find the girls. And uh, uh, for example, uh, right now I have just one friend. We went the same uh, primary, same secondary, same university. Mm. So and we have been with the, him for that long. Every day we have to meet. That's what I call of honest and true friend. Eh? Mm -hmm. But of course, come here in Nairobi now, when I was asking for a job, I made another friend. 
and also we became friend like the other one, who, who the child friend. Mm -hmm. So it depends, eh? I can say it depends on uh, the foundation. Still I go back to the foundation. Yes. Uh, two, it depends on what we want. Because mm -hmm. if I see it, this is us is good and uh, maybe content creator and I'm interested, mm -hmm. I have to uh, I have to look for a way to be free so that I also I can learn. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You get because there's something exactly. that you're seeking we, from the uh, friendship. We share some uh, vision, some uh, maybe mission together, mm -hmm. and now we have the same uh, uh, maybe goals. Yeah to actually achieve. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And that's also important. From the way you both described yes. the value of friendship, exactly. you have to share similar goals, goals yeah. interests, yeah. Yes. and all these things because they bind you together. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now also, proximity matters. Mm. Based on the way you've described, you've yes. gone with this friend from primary high mm -hmm. school. Yes. And mm -hmm. that's very rare, by the very way. Rare, very rare. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, Tess, would you agree that the proximity of you and your friendship can influence your relationship. Yes, I do, because it means you know each other in and out, you know? Like you know what uh, they hate, you know what not to do, you know a lot of things about this person. But for ladies, I think it's a bit hard. Let me say this, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please expand. <laughs> I know the ladies back home want to know why. What um, do you mean? I feel like, okay, let me bring in the aspect of jealousy. Mm. Yeah, for the ladies, mm. I think we are more jealous if we see someone or your best friend or your friend doing better than you. Mm. You kind of tend to get a bit jealous and that brings in a little bit of conflict. Not even a little bit. <laughs> conflict. Like yes. You just separate ways. Yes, yes. So... I think the most important thing is to just find a friend who is not going to be jealous about you, mm -hmm. who is just going to be happy that you're making it, you know. Yeah. The, the ones who are celebrating you, uh, they're the ones who are telling you, yes, keep going. Not someone who's be, who will be like, ah, that's what they I want do. to bring you What down. are you doing? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is not going to take you anywhere. You know, there's some... Sometime, sometime back, someone told me that, and trust me, that is the worst thing you can ever hear from a friend, who you trust and you believe. So, just get uh, for the ladies to not to do like you don't have quite jealous. That is one thing I feel like kills friendship with ladies. I don't know whether Actually, I, I, I can agree with that. <laughs> yes. you know, two sisters can stay in the same room and they get uh, a conflict and they even uh, become True. enemies. Yes. True. Uh, but both is very rare. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I don't know. I I don't know what it is about us women mm -hmm. that we like to compare. Like, oh my God, the jacket. Why don't I have it? Yeah. The shades. I yes. wish I had that. <laughs> so, <laughs> women, we need to work on that. <laughs> very much. Madam, if you're watching, yeah. I feel like we all need to intentionally yeah. Yeah. work on our friendships yeah. and work on ourselves so that we're not jealous of our friends. But that's a personality. <laughs> no, let's not claim it as a personality. <laughs> I don't think it should be. It huh? should because it's intentional. It's yeah. about what yes, you yes. are and who you are as a mm -hmm, person. Mm -hmm. And now let's bring it to the conflict. Because <laughs> <laughs> to start this conversation, we had the, the, the question. Yeah. A lady texted and told us that the friend stole the boyfriend. <laughs> and that was, you see, this easy factor is <laughs> Jealousy, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then. lack of communication, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you are know, a bad friend. Yeah, it's yeah. all in this conflict. Yeah, yeah. So, Nando, let me read it. Just so we get the entire context. Mm. Hey, mi beshte angu, tunakosana na boy wangu, anajifanya venyako caring, but behind the scenes, nilijua anataka my guy. I don't know what to do. Ooh, now, this is a very common yeah. situation. We yeah. can all agree on that. There yes. was also the, the series that was there. I, it was called Euphoria. Oh, yeah. I'm no, I don't mm -hmm. know if you're familiar with it. Yeah. Yes. These things are common. Yes. Are common. And the lady was <laughs> dealing with the boyfriend <laughs> while comforting the friend yes. and saying, don't worry, you deserve someone better. This man is not even <laughs> supposed to be with you. But whole time, yeah. she wants to be with the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Tess, have you personally experienced anything like this? I, yes, I have, but was not that oh, close of a best friend, it was just a friend. 
Okay. Yeah. And I feel like mine was not like this. It's just that I didn't see it. I was seeing the red flag as a pink color. Not <laughs> <laughs> like red is my favorite color. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing purple. <laughs> what are you saying? So, yeah. But this is something that happens a lot, a lot, a lot. And let me say... Because mm. tell me why <laughs> she's <laughs> telling uh, the friend uh, all caring and whatever, but behind the scene, you're doing this. Means right. even this lady, the friend, is not even a true friend. Mm. You know, Genuinely. Yeah, yeah. Is, not, is not even a true friend. So, mm. girl, move, move. And I feel like we uh, this is something that's unspoken there's yeah. girl code mm -hmm. and if i like a guy or if i've been with a guy you're not even supposed to look in his direction yes <laughs> you don't even his know number. his second name what what number Why? he doesn't have a phone <laughs> you're not supposed to know these things exactly so when someone intentionally mm -hmm. goes behind your back mm -hmm. to get the number and mm. be like i want him mm. then that's not a genuine friend yes mm. have you dealt with conflict like this Kefa? yes yes i've dealt with them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do you advise them well, one thing you need to know we are human beings Yes, yes, very important. <laughs> and uh, and uh, do, that, that kind of characters makes uh, the world so beautiful, so interesting. True. Mm -hmm. Yes. I assume we were all, of, all of us were to be genuine, to be, uh, they were to be boring. Eh? <laughs> so, okay, yeah. So even yeah. movies. <laughs> I feel like we can all agree on that. Yeah, they were to be boring, by the yeah. way. So one thing uh, maybe I can add was uh, uh, maybe uh, young people. Uh, you need to accommodate each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, before resolving the conflict, you need to prevent. True. Yes, because if, uh, let's say, the case of Terry, maybe the, the case of the, this SMS, eh, you realize there's two people who are not genuine. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. the guy yes. and the other. Mm -hmm. That's true. Don't blame the, uh, the guy alone. <laughs> because if I am honest eh, mm -hmm. to my girlfriend, even if it's he have friend comes and they start talking to the and he's talking to me. Mm -hmm. I can't accept. Yeah. I will just push her away. True. You get or tell your yes. girlfriend be like your friend is not a yes. yeah, there's someone. Yeah. Yes. But Tess, let me let me just ask you, because you know <laughs> girls we have this perception. Yeah. Of guys yeah. will not tell you. Yeah. If someone mm -hmm. is hitting on you on your guy exactly. among they won't tell you. Yeah. Will you do you feel like that's the most common case, or do you think guys come and tell their girlfriends, there's this friend who's saying something? I feel like if this guy is so much genuine with you, yes, he will. He will, yeah. Mm. But if he's yes. just passing through, oh, my friend. He will <laughs> just keep silent. Mm, so you, going to you both agree it's about intentionality yeah, yeah, exactly, and yeah. the person yes. himself, mm -hmm. yeah. or both parties, they yeah. just have to be a genuine person. Yes, yeah. yes. But how do you determine that? In that case, this lady is aware. She's aware that my friend is hitting on my, my guy, mm. but she's here comforting me. Mm. How can she... Tell, uh, talk to the friend even. Kefa, mm. if she came to your office and told yes. you this is my case, what would you advise her to do? Uh, the first thing eh, is just to relax. Give it time. Don't be judgmental. You see, one thing we do is to be quick to judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be silent, be, uh, be just quiet, mm -hmm. and uh, have a conversation, an open conversation in a common ground, eh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like now you can go to dinner. You see, even as uh, boys, eh? let, me, let me now talk about boys. Eh? At some point, eh? uh, you look at the uh, treatment. Mm -hmm. And there was somebody uh, uh, maybe having a conversation with you. See, most of the reasons they, are, they break because of communication. Yes. You get so uh, I would advise this uh, ready uh, to have uh, an open communication with this guy and with uh, very much observation, but not to be judgmental. Mm -hmm. yes. To just make a very exactly. sober decision. Yeah, and it, it, she gives the timer uh, so that she can able to see some characters. You see, some characters like now, ladies, if you feast your, uh, your boyfriend and you find 
some slippers for the girl. You, you, also, <laughs> you already know uh, that uh, someone hey, is that money yeah. you get. Mm -hmm. So those uh, small, small uh, <laughs> things, eh? she can also uh, she can be keeping watching eh? the character. See, even if, uh, like now, if you have a boyfriend eh? or a girlfriend, and uh, you can compare from the time you started up to this moment you are, you are hearing those stories, you can mm -hmm. see the changes of car characters, the, character. the ways he was, he was treating you, and yeah. now. You get True. Yes. yes. So, and now, what you need to do is to find where you, maybe you are not satisfying that uh, guy of yours, mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of even social, in terms of even in the house, maybe. Uh, exactly. So, it's basically the way you're saying, exactly. she has to come down, yes. assess the situation, exactly, yeah. read this character, yeah, but know. She, river on, hold on, judgmental. Ah, yes. And that's a very important thing, because you know, most of us <laughs> are very quick to judge. judge yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, you said hi, period, <laughs> you love him, I don't care. <laughs> so, maybe we should be mm. slow to judge. judge that's yeah. what the Bible even says. Yes. Now, let me go to our Facebook. We have some comments. And uh, that's Roti Platinum who says, yes, it exists. And I have four friends and it's going so smoothly. That is such a beautiful testament. Yeah. And we love that for you, Platinums. Thank you for texting us. Ian Lewis K.E. says, yes, depending on the principles you set for your friendship, mm -hmm. Kisiwa Outer Bungoma Counting is following live on air. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Ian. And that's good because your principles and your that's beliefs, the foundation. Yeah. that's the foundation yes. of your friendship. Yes, yes. Then we have Maurice Jacob Makoha who says, watching from Kakamega, Namushia Kabras, big no. <laughs> Maurice, <laughs> who are these friends who hurt you? <laughs> Otinya Conscience Jonathan says, Katambe, Otinya Katambe, we are here live locked in. <laughs> Jesse J says, Eldoret equal locked. Thank you so much, Jesse. Alvin Muhanji says, yes, but rarely. That's also a true statement. Yes, 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 yes. True Same. friendship is very rare. Yeah. 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 Jax Owen says, yes, but That's it's minimal. minimal. That's mm -hmm. also in agreement to Alvin. Now. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for that. Dennis Okioma says, which friendship? friendship. <laughs> <laughs> With a big <laughs> question mark. Which friendship, Dennis? Mm. Vika Ali Ben says, yes, it, it does. does yes. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Quinette Bestie says, count me in. Quinette, we see you. <laughs> Thank you. Evans Mavia says, watching from Naivasha Kihoto, siku hizi hakuna. <laughs> Thank you. And based on this comment, <laughs> kuna two opinions. Yeah. So I want to go on a very short break and uh, stay tuned. I want to hear more from you. Mnyambie, do you think it, it exists or not? And how do you resolve conflicts? Yeah. So stay tuned. This is Y254 TV and you are watching Power Talk. Y254, imagine. It is art that will blow your mind and culture like you have never seen before. And I will be serving you this and much more only on Y254 channel. Vijiona chapa kazi wenye nguvu za zihada. My youth. Ukona talent ya kusing, spoken word, kukompose jingles ama any other unexploited artistic talent. Gava through Ministry of Information, Communication and the Digital Economy na KBC sasa ome come up na project ya kupromote usani called Studio Machinani. Hizi ni studios iko grassroots and they are fitted with high quality state of the art equipment where you can produce quality audio and video music content for free. 
What's more, wana offer mentorship na talanta yako itakuwa promoted on KBC Channel 1 TV, Y254 na radio stations za KBC. Tembelea studio mashinani huko Comarox, Langata, Sauti House, Mombasa, Kirwara, huko Gatanga, Kitui, next to Manyanyoni Chiefs Camp na Kisumu City wako hapo KBC Station. Usilalie talent. This is your chance to commercialize and popularize your talent through studio mashinani. What do you do, beautiful people? I'm your girl, Ivy Collette. And I go by the name the little DJ Suitcase. And this is Tano Curly on Y254. Every Friday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you want to catch an amazing local or international artist, this is the place to be, and I have a fun guest for you every other week. And of course, I have a challenge for two Aries that's head to head, but make sure it's all about good music all along. Tune in to kickstart your Friday vibes. Stay tuned. Y254. Imagine. Thank you for sticking to Y254 TV. Once again, you are tuned in to Power Talk. My name is Cheryl Blessing. And right before we went on the break, we were trying to find out, does true friendship exist? And this was informed by a story about a lady whose friend was trying to get with the ex-boyfriend. So we want to understand, how do you solve conflicts like this or any other issues that arise? So once again, you can engage with me. Go on my social media platforms, at Y254TV or at Cheryl Blessing. Send me your comments, send me your opinions. If you have any questions, we will sample that as we progress. Now, before we went on a break, we were just trying to see that the foundation of the friendship matters, mm -hmm. the individual's character, yes. and the similarities in beliefs, goals, and all those things yes. play a role in determining if there's true friendship. Mm -hmm. And from our comments which we read, we can tell that there are people who know this true friendship yeah. and there are people who are like, no, not today. <laughs> there are no real friends. Yeah. So I want to bring us back to the question that we had. Mm. We've just seen that you have to be calm, observe, mm. avoid judgment. Mm -hmm. But Tess, this is the ex-boyfriend. This is not the current boyfriend. <laughs> Do you think that really matters? Like if it's, we are not together, maybe we broke up even two years ago and my friend goes to that guy. Do you think it would matter? I think if my friend did, I'll end that friendship. <laughs> like immediately, no. Yes. Why <laughs> am I? Why are we still? What? Yeah. Why? Because I feel like that is. It's like she has been waiting for you to. <laughs> uh, to <laughs> exit. In here. Yes. Exit. Yeah. I enter. Yeah. That is it. So immediately, I, I le na left too. Yeah, mm. so mm. you'd you'd say that wasn't genuine yeah, friendship. Yeah. Wasn't genuine because with. it's kind of you're waiting for me to leave and then you enter. You are yeah. asking when, mm. you know. <laughs> and so. you know, I feel like that also makes you doubt. Yes. yes. When we were together with, with this guy, were you maybe. talking? Yeah, yes. you were talking. Was something going yes, on? Exactly. Or maybe or even the reason as to why we are exes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe. Because I've heard of cases where mm. There are friends who will tell your boyfriend information. Mm -hmm. Personally, I've had friends who've told me, mm -hmm. you know, this girl texted my man and she was saying this and this and that, how I'm a bad person, how mm -hmm. I'm cheating. Mm -hmm. So there are friends who would do that. And this is mostly with ladies, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. But Kefa, have mm -hmm. you met guys who do things like that or have had conflicts? There are so many. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so many. Please tell us about <laughs> that. <laughs> tell us uh, about so one case and that stood uh, out. What, what I can say, mm -hmm. uh, some people are joking with life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, because uh, you see when it comes to a relationship, uh, it's a serious matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. need to do that. Uh, you joke uh, mm -hmm. and you accept somebody who has gone for two years, then coming back, what are you doing? Yes. So those cases are there. Uh, but to, so, uh, but uh, we need to ask ourselves, uh, uh, 
from where we started mm -hmm. in the background uh, what is the character of this person yeah you see there's somebody even if you feed <laughs> even if you take care <laughs> 100% still, still the same is person. the same. Yeah, they're not going to change. <laughs> yes, the only yeah. thing, eh, are you ready to accommodate madness in him? <laughs> <laughs> or in her? Yes. yes, that's the point. You have to be willing yes, to tolerate that. Yes, you have that. to be willing to tolerate that he goes out and he comes back, still your mind. <laughs> 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 so you have to know what you're <laughs> exactly. getting into and yeah. decide, okay, I'll exactly. sign up for yeah. this. But again, uh, that's where now the Bible comes in. You keep on praying for him or her mm -hmm. uh, for change because you can't change a grown-up. True. Yeah, you can't change a grown-up. Uh, there are so many cases in actuary. Uh, most cases right now, they happen through our smartphones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this social media. So most cases, uh, such a kind of a relationship, uh, they are common. Actually, there's, uh, there's uh, rumors, or not rumors, there's a uh, talk which is going on right now that marriage today is a contract. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Most people, I feel like they use that Yes, they use that feel like that <laughs> yes. what it is. Which contract are you talking about? <laughs> At Tukuapo, you have a total. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, uh, me, I can say, uh, we are human beings. Mm -hmm. We are in this world. Atuko mm. So, the only thing I can actually advocate for people is to be willing to accommodate each other. Yeah. Knowing what he wants or what he wants in that person. person. If it's a racist one, you have gone right up to where maybe you have sat a kid together, just... Uh, sit talk openly if he, that person is willing to get another wife just decide whether you're staying in that marriage or no or but no. know that uh, this person you can get even the fourth wife if he's, he has not changed the character yeah. still is the same yeah it's so the you same just, uh, and you see what you're saying is <laughs> you have to know your friend exactly you have to know the character of this person yes, yes. and decide if you're willing to commit to yes. this friendship or yes that. yes and yes. then you know from there mm. that's when you avoid judgment yes of things that they may do exactly yeah now i want to talk about jealousy <laughs> <laughs> yes, you said that women are usually jealous mm -hmm. and that's true because sometimes we want to compare ourselves with each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's healthy to do that? To compare yourself with your friend? No, it's not. Yeah. It's not because it's just going to kill you. Mm. Let me tell you one thing. One thing I was told by my mom uh, when I was entering this social media was like never compare yourself to anyone. Mm. Even that person that you look up to, never. Mm. Because mm. at one point you're going to end up doing things and getting out of the person you are mm. so that you can get that thing that you want or you can get to the to be the person you're comparing yourself to mm. you know mm. so i feel like it's it's not healthy it is it's not. not it mm. is not even as mm. as a friend i cannot if my friend tells me by the way i've won a uh, whatever, what are they called? Is it pesas? A lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, we are rich. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Together. Yes, mm -hmm. we are rich. Not like, Kai, I mean, we missing yeah. our mm -hmm. You know, that you start, if you question yourself once your friend has won something or has made it in life, trust me, you are jealous. You mm. are jealous. You just have to be happy about it mm. because. Yeah. That is that is not the way to go. Never That's compare true. yourself. And I feel like the minute you start getting jealous, then mm -hmm. you stop being a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be, to be a lot of exactly, conflict, yeah. a lot yeah. of disagreements mm -hmm. on every little little thing. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let me talk about money. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there's this thing about loaning between Ko friends. Rafiki would you say mm. it's a good thing or would you advise loaning your friend's money? No, I don't do that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I'd said to, uh, to a sister, a sister and forget. True. Yes, a true friend, eh? I don't uh, give and start, oh, no, 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 no. I don't loan money to friends. I assist. Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, I give and that's good. Yes. Assisting is good because because you, it, it can you bring don't conflict. It comes from yes, genuinely. Yes, it can. And have you Tess, Have you experienced the situation where mm. you know even with ladies, it's more about even loaning clothes. 
<laughs> Someone borrowed this one dress and they've stuck with it for three years. And I they tell you it's lost. Mm. I think right now I've learned my lesson. Yeah. Honestly. When I say manga, kopesha mtu pesa unajua, ukipoteza hauta. Haita kuuma. Haita kuuma. And I, I sometimes am this person that I've even actually learned not to be soft as mm. much. Because if you come to me crying, if I am in a position to help you, I will help you mm. without any question. But I feel like Musifanya Evo, don't. Mm. Yeah. If you want to maintain your friendship, your friendship yeah. please don't. Don't. I but again, do eh? as, as, as he has said, yes. assist. Assist. Assist, mm. assist mm. not mm. loan. Not because loan, yeah. if you do, that's going to end your friendship. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yes. Yeah. Kefa, you were adding uh, yeah, to that point. Yeah, but again, uh, it depends on uh, which kind of loan. Like now, if he, he or he has a, uh, maybe a relative or a brother or a sister in hospital, and uh, the bill is huge, eh? mm -hmm. oh, like yeah. 200,000, yeah. you get mm -hmm. it? And uh, you have them. You see, sometimes, uh, let us be human, you can't assist 200,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. For example, just uh, you just uh, give, but don't ask back. If he's a true friend, eh, he will give, give back to you yes. at his normal yeah. time without pressure. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will just refund automatically so mm -hmm. don't bother to ask just give knowing yeah. that you will come back at what at any time you don't expect mm. and i think there's one thing i learned mm. in this one film of four friends mm. so the friend loaned money but not with mm -hmm. a timeline yes she just said i'm willing to give this to you because she, the, the friend was stuck mm. it was something to do with the house mm. so she said i'm going to give you this money but I'm not expecting it. You'll pay me back when you feel yeah, like you're right. comfortable yeah, exactly, enough. Yeah. Instead of uh, next month, yeah, where's yeah. my money? <laughs> where's my money? Yes. <laughs> now let's also talk about boundaries. Mm. Boundaries in regards to tests. Like you've said, your friend will sometimes take your phone and text the haters. Mm -hmm. Would you give your friend your phone to text your boyfriend? Oh, doing what? Why? <laughs> 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 Trust me, that is out of bounds. Mm. Out, she even knows because I can't. Why would I do that? Even imagining it, it's so insane, you know. Right. But mm. uh, if you have a good friend, she'll know where not to cross. Atajua boundaries hafai kuvuka. Anakujua family unless it's an emergency, you mm. can text them. Mm. Apo kwa my husband or boyfriend, <laughs> don't do that. Even when I'm going, <laughs> please text my family. And I feel like up up here, boundaries it could appear now you yourself. Yeah. Mm. If I don't like people walking in with shoes mm -hmm. and you cross that, then mm. that's not a friend. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I agree with that because mm. uh, right now what I normally avoid to go have a conflict with my some 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 of my friends, eh? Mm -hmm. If I say if I go this route, we are going to have issues. Eh? I just drop. Yeah, because yes. you know yeah, the person. Yeah, because I don't want any issue. I want peace mm -hmm. with everybody. Yeah. So I have to know that this person doesn't like this. Yes. Why do I want to do it? Eh? Yeah. yeah. Become so. we have issues. Yeah. yeah. So yes. unless you're not genuine, <laughs> yeah, then you would not So if I care. know this doesn't want me to talk to his boyfriend, eh? mm -hmm. why do I force myself to talk to his boyfriend? Yeah, sure. Right. Yes. Yeah. Now let me wrap <laughs> this up because we are, I think our time is running out. Yeah. Okay. Let me bring it back to mental health. Mm. We know this is a conversation that we've been having more and more in the mm. past few years because mm. people are learning to prioritize mental mm. health. Mm -hmm. And that's why people like you, mm. Kefa, mm. come to play because mm. you solve conflicts and help people exactly, to yeah, yeah. be at peace. Yes. Now, have you had instances where friends were dealing with friends who had mental health issues? And I'm talking about maybe something serious, mm -hmm. not with the character, like mm. flaws and whatnot. Mm. serious mental health issues mm. they have bipolar disorder mm. they have uh, i don't know they they switch up mm -hmm. you know mm. split personality disorders mm. Mm. have you encountered people who have conflict with their friends based on that so many uh, mm. first of all we need to understand what is mental health even yes. depression is mental health yeah true <laughs> yes. very true even depression even stress mm -hmm. is mental health mm. Mm. yes though those are the cases which are out here and uh, they are common even you see people are even murdering themselves mm -hmm. mm. because of depression, despair, stress, something like that. Yeah. So uh, those cases are there and uh, uh, one thing, eh, because they don't have true friends. Mm. Yes, I can mm -hmm. tell you for sure. 
and I love that you've said that because yes. it brings me back to what Tess exactly, was saying earlier. Yeah. She was going through a process of haters and yes. people on social media, mm -hmm. yes. but the friend took her far away. Exactly. Yeah. Now, would you recommend, or how how do you detect and tell apart someone who would be there for you at your lowest point and someone who wouldn't care about the haters and what people are saying? How did you detect and? sieve between your friends to know that this is someone I can lean on on my low days and this is someone I can't trust to even mm -hmm. tell about my mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. One thing I like and uh, it's because recently or for the past like two years, one and a half, before I tell her I'm going through something, she knows it. I'm one person who is jovial. Mm. So when I'm silent, that means I'm going through something. Mm. So before I even say, say it to yeah. her, mm. she knows she it. Knew. She's yes. like, what mm. is happening? What is happening? Mm. You're not you. Yeah. And then that's, that's when I knew she is a person who can really be there for me. Even when I was going, there was a time I was going through a lot when I recently lost someone and she was there for me, like mm. she, literally. And yeah. that's when I was like, yeah, this is the person I really yeah. want to commit to mm. as a friend. Mm. And that's yeah. your sister. If yeah. being, that's your sister. Yeah. Mm. Because, <laughs> you she know, it's, it's the perception, perception even yeah. that you can tell mm. the character is off, the mm. mood is off yeah. today. Mm -hmm. That's very important because yeah. most people will not perceive that yeah. very exactly, easily. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Now, Kefa, as mm. we wrap up the conversation, yes. what would you say are the, some of the things that you shouldn't do? You should avoid doing them in case you have a conflict with your friends. One, don't cross his line or her line. Mm -hmm. Just respect him, respect her, respect his opinion, accommodate his madness or her madness. <laughs> what, when I Very say madness, important. all of us, we are mad. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To some degree. To some degree. And if you if want all of us to be the same, mm -hmm. then I don't know whether you are a god or what. <laughs> So accommodate each other yeah. and respect each other the way he is or the way he does his things or mm -hmm. as he does his things. Eh? Mm -hmm. Don't just start hackering, oh, I spent the biayako. Who are you? <laughs> Tell, yeah. Telling somebody spent the biayako. Mm -hmm. just, just accommodate that person if he's a friend, if he's a friend, and know that you have boundary the way we have said, eh? mm. and that you are not supposed to go beyond this yeah. because that is character. Mm -hmm. True. You you have one thing you want to be a friend with him. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what you want. You want the purpose. You know the vision you want to. You know what you, you know want. You know what to you want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love that one thing that you're sticking with yes. is know the character exactly. of your friend yes. and accept them. Yes. Because if if someone is just naturally they'll yes. fight with people at the club. Mm -hmm. You have to know this is my friend. Yeah. Yeah. And you I've have decided. Have you yeah. ever realized? Uh, realized <laughs> even in here in the streets, chokras eh? wana pendana. But normal people, they hate each other. <laughs> yeah. And I also like the fact that you're saying we are all different. Exactly. Yeah. Which brings me to, to my very last uh, point. Yeah. I want to talk about the differences in values and beliefs. Because mm. mm. we're all raised different. Yes. We're exposed to different media. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Exactly. To make sure information to fault. Exactly. I read more of sci-fi. Yes. Someone else yes. reads more of... Uh, yes. Yes. I don't know. Like mm. comedy and mm. stuff yes. like that. So yes. we're all different and we yeah. have different values. Exactly, mm. yeah. What if you have different mm. political views? This is something, especially in Kenya right now, yeah. we are very aware of uh, the way people have different views of mm. the government's performance mm. and they, certain yeah, people. Sure, yeah. Tess, if you have uh, maybe different opinion, political opinion specifically with your friends, how do you resolve issues like that? Personally, during, okay, let me start with that election time. I was like, please, whoever you're going to support, <laughs> keep it yourself. Let me keep it to myself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. to let's not talk about it i was actually watching a clip by one of a person i want, i love watching auntie jemima she made a clip of that friends arguing about s things politically i support this you support this that doesn't mean we are we cannot be friends keep mm. your opinion to yourself mm. let me keep I'll my keep political mine. yes mm. then we we continue whichever wins whichever goes whichever mm. rules it's yeah. okay it's okay yeah. yeah and you know i feel like that's especially very sensitive mm -hmm. with the political views. Yeah. It's very sensitive because yeah. in Kenya it's tied with tribalism. Mm -hmm. There's the history of different yes. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had a friend who shared with me 
that she she knew someone mm. who posted something mm. and it was very tribalistic mm -hmm. during the elections or very very vocal about it and mm. they said something that was very bad mm. about a certain tribe mm -hmm. and this friend belongs to that tribe <laughs> and tried to she tried to to ask mm. why would you say that and generalize everyone mm -hmm. knowing that mm. i may be yeah. in that tribe yes. and the friend was still adamant mm. i think no i'm not talking about you i'm saying about people of this tribe but then the friend says, my family is from, from this tribe. tribe. <laughs> Even if you take me apart, what Still about my mother, my grandma, tribe, my yeah. cousins? Mm -hmm. So do you think, uh, Kefa, mm. conflict like that can be resolved? Yes, it can be resolved mm. if we understand that what is peaceful. Peace, actually, when you are in peace, mm -hmm. even mentally you are in peace. Mm. Like now, if you hate somebody, then you are not in peace. Mm -hmm. So those conflict can be resolved uh, when there's a talk. That's why, why we call it mediation. Mm. You just uh, identify the parties, uh, the two parties, <laughs> is a political <laughs> class. And, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and tell them that uh, this dunia are to kai forever. Yeah, true. Yes, we are actually here for a short time. Mm, you're just passing by. Yeah, so political, mm -hmm. whatever, it comes five years and it goes. Mm -hmm. And you know that's another thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Your political alliance <laughs> this season, season will yeah. probably not be the exactly. same one in the yeah. next election. Yeah. What we need to mm -hmm. create is a, a peaceful world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where we can assist one another without looking at tribalism, mm -hmm. without looking at the class, without looking at anything. So if you come and identify those parties, eh? now I'm talking as a mediator. Mm. You need to sit with them and they decide on their own what way they want to they go. Want to go. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't so decide for them. So you would recommend yes. a mediator to come between. If yeah. possible, don't even yes. avoid talking about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. You can never and really don't judge see them. eye to eye. Yes. 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 Yeah. And I love that. That is the approach that most people, the Gen Z especially, yes. had with the last election. Mm -hmm. yes. People on social media are like, mm -mm, I don't mm. care. What's going elections? I don't care. We're just vibing. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. No test. Yeah. Seeing that you're a social figure, yeah. you're in a space where people can criticize you mm -hmm. and tell you their opinions without caring if you're human or not. If you have friends who tell you cruel jokes and they say it as, no, I'm just joking. At the end, no, you look fat. But it's just a joke. Or, or something that attacks even your family yeah. and it's personal. Mm -hmm. What would you do in a situation like that? How do you deal with a friend like that? First of all, you're not my friend if you tell me that. Let's start off from there. Like, <laughs> if you have to... There is no joking about it. Mm. They wanted to say it, so to sugarcoat it, they're like, oh, I was just joking. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah. There is no joke about that. That is something <laughs> they wanted to tell you, so they're mm. just sugarcoating they it. Passed yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have passed their message. They have passed their message. And then they will gaslight you into yeah. believing you're yeah. the problem. Something, yeah. something which was being talked somewhere. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Yeah, even that. <laughs> yeah. Someone comes and tells you, yeah. Yeah. Friend, yeah. Actually, I was sitting with Kinanani, mm -hmm. and they said this and this yeah. about yeah. you. Yeah. Keva, yeah. is that your friend? <laughs> yeah, no. That's not You're my not friend. a friend. Mm. Uh, yeah. But he's a friend. Eh? You see, uh, we have to understand from the beginning. Mm -hmm. We are not enemies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. not enemies. Eh? Uh, we only cross the boundaries eh, and have some issues, but not enemies. Eh? Yeah. 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 So all yeah. of us, we are friends. Eh? Yeah. But you identify one or two of those friends who you can sit mm. and uh, talk or mother. Because you can't tell every friend you have problems. Eh? Yeah. But I go on, ah, we know I'm a <laughs> 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 No, no, no. Yeah. By the way, yes. Yes. you yeah. can detect yeah. and mm. tell people yes. apart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it's also, I feel like it's, it's mean. Mm when you intentionally say something that exactly, you know. Yeah. If yeah. I told you, you yes. cry about yeah. it. Because exactly, yeah. why would you say that? Yeah. And again, mm. we, we come back to characters. Mm. Why do you tell somebody you are fat in front of people? <laughs> why? <laughs> like, what? Why? Oh my God, you can't take <laughs> a joke. <laughs> and you say it's a you joke. You sugarcoat uh, it no, and say yeah. it's a joke. It's yeah. not a I joke. Know. Yeah. And you know that people who do that yeah. continually yes. and they don't change. Mm -hmm. no, they don't they feel don't guilty. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Now I want to bring it back. Tess, you said that 
you had an instance where you had a friend who was a bit silent, a bit quiet, a mm -hmm. bit reserved. Mm -hmm. So you will say that silent treatment is not a means of conflict resolution. I know. It's never. Yes. It's never. Now, how do you amend that? Let's say you and your best friend, you're both bad at communicating. Mm -hmm. But you really genuinely think, this is my home girl, this is my bestie. How would you deal with that? First of all, I won't eliminate you with just being silent. I'll look for other things. I'll start now going back. Hmm? Mm. You know, if you're silent, maybe there are certain characters or mm -hmm. there are certain things. Uh, maybe you're jealous. And mm. there are some friends who are jealous and they show it. Yes. You'll go buy a shock and be like, old school. <laughs> Someone once <laughs> told me that. Actually, last year, oh my I was God. told, I just... Nimetoka tu duka vizuri. Oh my god. <laughs> Nimekuja nimevalia kiatu changu kisu. Kizuri jamani. Mm. Mm. Ngoi, it's old school. I was mm. like, and you're my friend. Okay. Yeah. And then, akasema venyu umesema, ah, it was a joke. <laughs> I was like, hmm, no. Yeah. So I, I look for something else. It's not only silent treatment, you know, that can... But if it's silent treatment, at some point, one of us has to communicate. Yes. Mm. For example, if I get a friend who is just silent, mm. like I'm also introvert, you know, mm. I can't talk about it. Mm. Well, at one point, be like, no, we have to you deal have with this. Mm. Yes, yes, we have to talk about mm. it, whether mm. we want or we don't. We don't yes. Yeah. yes, especially if you want to keep the friendship. The friendship. Really. If you see the friendship, it's worth keeping. Yes. Very good. Then you will. But, but yeah. I can add something. Eh? Yes, yes. If you are a tr my true friend, eh? mm -hmm. that one friend we have been discussing about, eh? mm -hmm. uh, you need not be silent. But yeah. what if it on happens? some issues. You know, <laughs> no, Kefa, you know, yeah. I find that characters are different. Yeah. Yeah. There are people who've been brought up where they feel like, if I have an issue, I can share. Yeah. But there are people who, as kids, they would s share their issues and be mm. reprimanded. Mm. Yes. So they so learned not to share yeah. issues. And yeah. they're like, I'm hoping you'll figure it out, but I don't want to tell you exactly what it is. How do you deal with something like that? You see, for me, uh, uh, just uh, to, to say from my heart, mm -hmm. if you are uh, my friend... Eh, and you are messed with me, you are messed with me. I just tell you, ah, you are messed with me. I have to keep it. But I don't keep it. Yes. You get? So it's better to just yes. express yes. it out. Yes, instead of keeping silent mm -hmm. and you are claiming you are the friend. Mm -hmm. The friend. Yes, you get? Mm. Let me be honest. <laughs> let, me, let me just snitch on myself. Yes. I, I usually do that. Yes. So there was one time, my very best friend, yes. I love this girl. Mm. So I, I felt like mm -hmm. she wasn't coming through for me mm. the way I wanted her to. Yeah. Mm. And I started pulling back because I was like, mm, if she's not doing it, then mm. maybe we don't need to be friends. Mm. And she called me and she was like, Sherry, let's talk about it mm -hmm. actively. Mm -hmm. And I had to also realize within myself mm. that I value this friendship mm. yeah. and I care to talk about it and see if we can get past it. Mm -hmm. And that's where I feel like when you understand the characters of people and you intentionally want to maintain a friendship, mm -hmm. you'll go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I want us to bring the comments. Timo, bring up the final comments. <laughs> and thank you so much for engaging with me. I have had a lovely time this evening. We have, uh, is it Taizin Kevo? who says true friendship exists. I have two true friends and of course lifetime friends. Yeah. I love that. That's a very good, good mm -hmm. example. Ras Vini says watching from Buhoro village, Butare sub county. Thank you Ras for watching. Uh, teacher Jenkins Mongi Kwaben says following. Thank you for watching us this evening. Uh, we have a uh, weekly Mugambi who says I'm weekly from Kirinyaga following. Thank you weekly. Edwin Edwin says, watching from Diaspora Rongai, Sikuizi Tawe. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin, Kunao, Nivenye Watu wako, wako genuine. Yeah. Abu Bakar Misingo says, yes, of course. Thank you for that, Abu Bakar. Tuele Ribon says, watching live from Kangemi, which friendship? Nahi Uchumi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kweni imekuwa trade na economy. Morgan Clinch says, where Ogopa Rafiki? Kama kivuli chako kina kutoroka usiku, ni heri utamte connection, lakini si Rafiki, itaku umiza adi ufe. True story, my boy, I'm really sorry about that, Morgan. Dennis Nyangesa says, natazama nikiwa hapa na wesi in Bungoma County, 
Yes, it exists, but yeah. it depends with the rules and regulations you put across when you're together. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Denise. We have Caroline Chepkurui who says, Tess. Hi, Caroline. Love. <laughs> Hi. Thank you, Caroline. We see you. Maureen Biggin says, watching from Kirinyaga, yes, true friendship do exist, but nowadays, Nihad Kupata. Unapata tu yule mse unaitabeshte yako, ndio anakudis, ama anakusengenya huko nje na kukuchafulia jina. Wa, kama ujazoya, heartbreaks na disappointment. <laughs> woi, Maureen, woi, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I think uh, that's about it. Yes, yeah, so we've seen kuna true friendship. I yeah. feel like it's about the individuals, yes. it's about the, the person and the characters. Mm. You have to know who you are and what mm. you're willing to offer. Yeah. So to wrap up the conversation, based on our comments, mm -hmm. Kefa, maybe we can start with you. Mm. Tell us, what would you advise people who are looking for true friendship out here? Uh, there's some three or four things, eh? but mm. I will say maybe two. Mm. Uh, all of us, we are friends. Mm -hmm but we need one or two that friend mm -hmm. and don't think that those friend two or one friend you can't disagree you will always disagree disagreement is part of life mm -hmm. but remember there's three words eh? always remember to say sorry yes. thank you mm -hmm. and forgive we love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was very <laughs> short and sweet. <laughs> yes. And I hope you took that and ran with it. Because yeah. <laughs> I have. Yes. Tess, yes. how would you sum up this conversation? From someone who's experienced true friendship, mm -hmm. what would you say to someone who thinks there's no friendship at all? Uh, number one, as he has said, always learn to say sorry, thank you, and forgive and for me. I always tell my friends, I love you. Mm. That is one of the most, I always, mm. yes. always tell them, mm. I love you. Mm. And another thing is, when you're looking for a friend, you find yourself a friend that you match, mm. you know? Mm. The energy, goals, you want to achieve the same things, stuff like that. Um, and a friend who, it's, it's a one-sided best friendship, mm. it should be. 50-50, you know, it has and to a be friend who ways. cannot backbite mm. you or mm. say anything bad about you when you're not there. Mm. Thank you. I love what is mm. put on the screen. Yes. Nobody is your friend until they defend your name in your absence. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is so true. Yeah. And I feel like that sums up the conversation yes. beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody is your friend until they, they defend your name in, in your, your absence. absence when you're yeah. not in the room mm. they should stand up yes. and say that not no mm. and that's it mm -hmm. i feel like that has been a beautiful mm. conversation sure. mm. i hope you've enjoyed it as well a repeat of this we air tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m you mm. can also catch us on youtube at y254 thank you so much to our camera operators they've been very very lovely in studio <laughs> our sound operators <laughs> so that you get the very best yeah the director timo up there everyone the team the station controller mm. i am very grateful to all of you and the viewers back home asante sana yeah. for tuning in that's it for today my name is sherry blessing and this has been the power talk show thank you Imagine.